Tonight, in an exclusive interview with ABC's David Muir, the Ukrainian president is pleading with the United States and NATO to establish a no-fly zone over his country. A third round of ceasefire talks between the two countries produced incremental steps forward. Tonight, UN officials say more than 1.7 million Ukrainians have fled the country. Here's ABC News with more. After days of nonstop bombs, missiles and attacks, Russian officials say a ceasefire in Ukraine will begin Tuesday, with Russia promising to open humanitarian corridors in the Ukrainian cities it surrounds. But Ukrainian officials say Russia broke similar promises over the weekend. The announcement comes just hours after unrelenting assaults on civilian areas, with people literally running for their lives, desperately trying to outpace Russian bombs. The bottom line is, more civilians are being killed and wounded. More civilian infrastructure is being damaged or destroyed. Uh, and Mr. Putin still has a choice here. Uh, not to escalate. The U.N. says more than 400 people have been killed in Ukraine, including at least 27 children. Another 800 have been hurt. And the organization says those numbers are probably higher. U.N. agencies, meantime, are overwhelmed as they work to help more than 1.7 million people flee the country. ABC's Matt Gutman inside a state-run orphanage where half of the children have escaped besieged cities in eastern Ukraine. They don't know what war is, we're told here, but they know that something is wrong. They know they're not where they used to be. Many kids, like the ones behind me, are from the war-torn region of Lugansk. Meantime, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says the biggest threat isn't on the ground, it's in the sky. In an exclusive interview with World News Tonight anchor David Muir, Zelensky continues to beg President Joe Biden for that no-fly zone over Ukraine. He also had this message for the American people. Americans. If you see and if you understand how we feel life, how we fight against all the enemies for our freedom, support us. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.